I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I trust you are well. I trust you are blessed. I trust you are enjoying the presence of God. Our God is a good God no matter the time that we're living in. Our God is a gracious God and He is with us. He is a loving God and He is always available when we call out to Him in prayer. God is not on holiday. God is not on vacation somewhere. He is attentive to our prayer and as we call out to Him today, God is going to hear and He is going to answer us. My dear friend, today we're going to be praying prayers of repentance and deliverance. All round complete deliverance and God will deliver you. But before we go into that, I need to set a bit of a foundation. And I'm going to set a foundation from the scripture. I want to share with you three keys that are so important in order for you to receive total deliverance and healing. And I trust, I know, I believe as you hear these keys, as you put them into practice and as you pray along with me today, God is going to set you free and you're going to go to a greater glory. Without any further delay, let us get into it. The first key, deliverance, healing, salvation and all that we receive starts with giving your life to Jesus, my dear friend. Remember, Jesus is the deliverer. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. It all starts with Him. Now one may ask, how do I give my life to Jesus? And it's very simple. I'll read to you from the book of Romans, chapter 10 from verse 9 to verse 13. It says, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. The scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. My dear friend, I encourage you, if you have not yet given your life to the Lord, Follow the instructions in the scripture that I've just read. And if you have to, pause this video and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, deliverance starts with salvation. It starts with giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially in the times that we're living in, such disasters happening, such things that are affecting everyone around the world. It is so important that you are sure and you are safe by giving your life to the Lord. The second key to deliverance is repentance and turning away from all the ways that the Holy Spirit of God has shown you and convicted you personally that are wrong. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 from verse 14 to verse 15, it says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears will be attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. The key to receiving your healing and deliverance is repenting and turning away from all those things which you know are wrong, my dear friend. So today, if there is anything in your life that the Holy Spirit is convicting you and saying this is wrong, then today it's time for a change. It's time to leave those things behind. It's time to turn away from them and come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord is gracious and is merciful. He's a good God and He's slow to anger and abounding in love. And He has open hands for whoever would be willing to repent and come back to Him. Now the third key is so powerful and that is to humble yourself before the Lord. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 32 from verse 24 to 26, it says, In those days Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And he prayed to the Lord and he answered him and gave him a sign. But Hezekiah did not make 
a return according to the benefit that was done to him, for his heart was proud. Therefore wrath came on him and Judah and Jerusalem. But Hezekiah humbled himself of the pride of his heart for both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the wrath of the Lord did not come on them in the days of Hezekiah. Now, my dear friend, also in this time that we are living in, there are things happening. And sometimes part of the key to deliverance from all these things is to humble ourselves before God. Humble ourselves in our heart before the Lord. The Bible makes it clear that He gives grace to those who are humble. He gives grace, more grace. The key to receiving more of the grace of God on your life is to humble yourself before the Lord. God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. And today, even as we pray, as you humble yourself before the Lord, God will give you total and complete deliverance. So in saying that, my dear friend, let us go into a time of prayer. God is such a good God and is merciful. And even as we pray, I want to encourage you to do one thing, one important thing, and that is don't focus on all the negative. There is so much negativity going around at this point in time. Focus on God and God will bring the deliverance. At this point in time, it is not a time to focus on negative or be negative, but it's a time to believe in God and have faith. It's a time that we must focus on God. We must focus our gaze on God and God will deliver us. God will come through for us. So in saying that, my dear friend, take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. Praise Him in your own words. Just lift up praises to God. Appreciate God. He is such a good God. It is by His grace that we are alive another day. It is by His grace that we will continue going. It is by His grace that we will not stop, but we will press on and go to a greater glory. So in saying that, begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we praise You. You are our deliverer. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are our very present help in time of need. You are the God who deserves all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. You are the creator of heaven and earth. Jesus, You are our Lord. We lift up Your name. We lift up the name of Jesus. And today we call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, knowing that our deliverance, our healing, our blessing, our breakthrough is found in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we thank you, Lord God. You are a gracious God. We praise you for your presence that is here, right here in studio and in that place where my dear friend is watching. We give you praise and we thank you that you have given us another day. It is by your grace. We are truly grateful. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you and we praise you, O God. We come back to you today, Lord. Today we commit our lives once again to you. We commit our lives afresh to you because you are a good God. You are our deliverer. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are the God who holds the universe in the palm of your hands. There is nothing impossible for you. There is nothing that is too strong for you. Not even a virus, not even an evil attack, not even the strongest demon that can be found is not any match to you, Lord. It cannot come up against you. It will be defeated instantly. And even today as we pray, we trust, we know, we believe, you will do what only you can do. Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, deliver my dear friend and my dear friend's family and my dear friend's friends, whoever my dear friend is trusting for, and take my dear friend to a greater glory. We know it is by the power of the Holy Spirit that we can be delivered the Holy Spirit that convicts the world of sin, the Holy Spirit that points us back to God. Holy Spirit, today we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit. And as you do what only you can do, we give God all the praise. We give Jesus all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God and I know like I know, God is going to bless you and God's going to take you to a greater glory. Now, as we discern the presence of God, we're going to go into a time of prayer. And I trust, I know, I believe whatever is affecting your life, God is going to set you free. Whatever is holding you back, God is going to set you free. Whatever demon or demonic hold or grip is on your life, you will be set free. As you trust God today and you put the three things that I've showed you into action, 
That is the key to your deliverance. You will be delivered in the name of Jesus. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. And as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just welcome the Holy Spirit for yourself. Welcome Him in that place. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, come and take over control and do what only you can do. Do it for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. The Bible makes it clear. Where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. Where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So as we agree and we pray the prayer of agreement, your prayer shall be answered in the name of Jesus. So in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend, your dear son. I pray for my dear friend, your dear daughter. Wherever they are watching, distance is not a barrier. Father, first of all, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you are able to hear us. Even today, even in the midst of crisis, you hear us. You are not on vacation. You are not far away. You are with us, so close to us, Emmanuel. We give you praise and we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray for all round deliverance of my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, wherever there's any demonic bondage, demonic grips, wherever there's any witchcraft, wherever there's any attacks, wherever there's any demonic setback in my dear friend's life, wherever there's any demonic bondage, let my dear friend be set free right now by the power that is available in Christ to all who believe. Let my dear friend be set free and let my dear friend go to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. Father, we give you praise. You are a gracious God. You are a merciful God. You are a God who hears the prayers of your children. And today we are praying that you will heal my dear friend, deliver my dear friend, set my dear friend free. And whatever might be happening in the world right now, protect my dear friend from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all of my dear friends who are watching this video. I pray for my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter who's tuned in right now, who is watching. Lord, wherever fear has been placed in their heart because of the things that are happening around the world, give my dear friend complete deliverance, complete deliverance from all fear and let your peace that surpasses understanding just overshadow my dear friend right now. Let deliverance from all fear, all anxiety, all lust, all hatred, all bitterness take place right now. Deliver my dear friend and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. Because your word makes it clear that the best is yet to come. We go from glory to glory as we seek you. We are in this world. We are ambassadors of heaven. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. So even as we go on, we are going from glory to glory. Let my dear friend go from glory to glory. If my dear friend has given their life to you today, I thank you and I give you praise for that because you are a gracious God. I thank you that total and complete deliverance starts from here. And my dear friend will never be the same again. If my dear friend has recommitted their life to you, I thank you that that recommitment back to you is permanent and the change will be everlasting in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I feel something so strongly in my heart. Right now at this point in time, there are so many articles going on. There are so many things going out there. There's so much negativity, so much negativity that could weigh your spirit down. Right now, I want to encourage you from this point onwards, don't focus on all the negativity. Yes, listen to all the instructions that the government has put in place. Follow your leaders because God put them there. But don't focus on the negative words that are being spread around. Focus on Jesus. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. The Bible says he will keep in perfect peace those whose eyes remain on him. Keep your eyes on Jesus and even in the midst of the hardest times, if the hardest times could come, you will be at complete peace. And as you are in complete peace, you are in a place to hear from God what to do and when to do it. And you will go to a greater glory. I want to tell you one word of assurance. You and your family will be kept safe. Your friends will be kept safe. Those around you who you love and you trust and you are praying for, they will be kept safe by the grace of God. Cover them in prayer. Cover yourself in prayer. Cover your family in prayer. 
Remember, stay close to God. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, Shalom and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.